Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new edition of the Daily Debate. In tonight's show we're going to be looking at the conflict taking place within the Gaza Strip and Egypt's unwavering support to the Gazans. We're going to be looking at that, looking at the eight convoys. Uh, the Decent Life Foundation is sending many convoys as well as the Egyptian Red Crescent. Many hospitals in northern Sinai and al Arish Hospital are also treating many of the injured Gazans. We're going to be focusing on this file tonight. But before we start doing that, let's check out a couple of the stories making the news today. And we'll start off with President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi who asserted that Egypt and South Sudan play a pivotal role in boosting efforts to reach a solution for the Sudanese crisis. The President was speaking at a press conference with the visiting South Sudanese President Salva Kiir following their talks in Cairo today. President Isisi said the meeting tackled the repercussions of the Sudanese crisis on the region and added that both sides agreed to intensify efforts to reach a settlement in the near future. The President also said they discussed means of boosting political security and military coordination between the two countries. Adding that the talks with Keir also reviewed the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam file and the path of negotiations to reach a binding deal. Meanwhile, the head of state stressed Egypt's keenness on expanding bilateral strategic partnership and providing South Sudan with technical expertise in various fields. And for his part, Keir praised Egypt's role in the African continent and said that his country is looking forward to fostering bilateral ties and consultation over several regional and international issues of mutual concern. And El Arish Hospital, uh, rather El Arish Airport, continues on Monday to receive planes carrying humanitarian aid to ease the sufferings of the people in the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, the Gazan Border Authority said on Monday that Egyptians and foreigners already on pre-approved lists will be allowed to enter Egypt after the, the Rafah border crossing had been closed for two days. The only entry into Gaza not controlled by Israel had opened to foreign nationals and dependents as well as the injured Gazans beginning on Wednesday. Egypt was seeking guarantees for the safety of ambulances used for evacuations including escorts from the International Committee of the Red Cross. Egypt was also seeking to increase the amount of aid flowing into Gaza, including fuel, which Israel has thus far refused to allow. These were a couple of the main stories making the news today, but now turning our attention to tonight's topic, let's check out this report regarding the Decent Life Foundation sending aid convoys into Gaza. Let's check it out and we'll be right back. Demonstrating unwavering support and humanitarian commitment, the Haye Karima Decent Life Foundation is actively engaged in efforts to provide essential aid to the people of Gaza. The foundation announced the departure of its second relief convoy destined for the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip on Saturday. This convoy includes 15 trucks loaded with vital humanitarian assistance, including food supplies, water and necessary medical equipment. In recent days, the Haya Karima Foundation launched the From Human to Human initiative, focusing on supporting the Palestinian people and preparing additional relief materials and aid for Gaza. This initiative follows the successful delivery of the first phase of aid convoys that the Foundation actively involved school students in the packing and preparation process, aiming to raise awareness about the significance of the Palestinian cause and Egypt's historical leadership in supporting it. It's worth noting that the first relief convoy launched by the Haye Karima Foundation on October 14th as part of the comprehensive convoy of the National Alliance for Social and Developmental Work consisted of 108 trailers filled with massive quantities of humanitarian aid, medicines and medical supplies. These efforts align with directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi who has called for immediate support and relief to Palestinian people. The Decent Life Foundation remains committed to its mission to alleviate repercussions of the Israeli aggression on the Palestinian people. The initiative thanked donors for their contributions to the aid being sent to Gaza emphasizing that volunteers work around the clock to mobilize and prepare medical convoys.